Let's see what's next. Mexico. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of my uh, American friends are actually uh, in Mexico. Some are teaching there. I also know a girl. She's uh, sort of a digital nomad. She's there. So Mexico is really great, especially for people from the U.S. because it's so close to the U.S., um, not too far away, but still, you know, a whole different vibe, obviously. And um, how gorgeous is this pyramid? I've always wanted to go there. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, so why go to Mexico? Most teaching jobs, they don't include healthcare, but your FM3 visa, and that's the visa that you will need, um, that's the work visa there, will give you access to the national healthcare system. So that's really great. And some schools will also cover your $290 visa fee requirement. Um, apart from that, there's not much uh, benefits going on in Mexico. Um, TEFL jobs in Mexico, also they range from public and private schools uh, to offering private English lessons to teaching business English to employees of Mexican companies. So business English is very big in Mexico because of the close relations with the US. They have a lot of business English opportunities. So if that's something that you're interested in, I highly recommend uh, looking into Mexico. Because in Asia, you can still find business English opportunities, but um, it's mostly targeted at children. So that can be anything from kindergarten to elementary, middle school, high school, university. Um, I have also taught, um, I've also taught business English to at companies in South Korea, but those were not full time things. Those were like part time, um, seasonal kind of things, but you can still find them. The salaries in Mexico, they range between 210 and 1,070 US dollars per month. So this is a huge gap, obviously. Um, so it really depends, you know, what kind of company you work for, uh, your experience, you know, this is what is for every job usually. So how your, uh, your qualifications, your experience, your background, all things like that play a role but also consider the lower cost of living in Mexico. Then the COVID info. Um, so travelers are allowed to enter Mexico without any quarantine restrictions. When you enter the country, the officials posted at the airport terminals will monitor your health along with the regular temperature screening. So you don't have to go into quarantine right now. I think you had two before, but then they changed it back. So, um, yeah, this is really great news. Um, requirements are typically a four-year degree or be a native English speaker. So it doesn't say anything about nationality because uh, Gwendolyn asked, is it harder to work in Mexico as an Asian national? So the requirements say a four-year degree or be a native English speaker. So it doesn't really say anything about nationality. So you are definitely welcome to apply and um, yeah. And a TEFL certificate is also required, usually. And Gwendolyn has another question. Do we need the business English certificates to teach business English? Um, no, you don't need it to teach business English. But if you have never taught business English before, um, it's definitely helpful. And, you know, it's also just an additional qualification to have in your portfolio to sort of stand out to um, you know, have better chances am among the competition, so those kinds of things. So that's why I definitely recommend it. I also did the uh, business English course and I found it to be really helpful actually, for sure. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.